Alibaba got all the attention this week with their IPO, but they're not the only Chinese company coming to the U.S. to go public. Tor Group operator Tuniyu rang the opening bell on the Nasdaq this morning after pricing its IPO at $9 per ADR. Why are the Chinese coming to America? For more on that, we welcome Hearst Lin, general partner of venture capital firm DCM, which has invested in Tunio, and he's with us now, Hearst. Thanks. I see you're down at the NASDAQ. Hi. Hi. Uh, uh, just tell me quickly, what was it like this morning at the NASDAQ? Why, why we come to NASDAQ? Because, uh, you know, NASDAQ obviously is the bellwether of uh, technology companies worldwide. And we think uh, as a technology company, we want to come to list on NASDAQ. Mm -hmm. uh, Hearst, uh, let's talk about Chinese companies pricing, doing public uh, offerings in the United States. What, what's the attraction there? What's the, what, why is this happening? Uh, I think U.S. actually has uh, the most depth in terms of research uh, because the U.S. investors, they, they invest in technology companies for the longest time than any other places in the world. And I think by coming to U.S. to, to list, uh, we can uh, take advantage of the fact of, yeah, take advantage of the um, take advantage of the research that's available as well as the depth of uh, investors uh, that are available in the US yeah uh, tell us a little bit about Tunio I mean everyone knows the name Alibaba less people are familiar with this one uh, tell us about this company a uh, Tunio is a online uh, tour packaging uh, company in China It's the number one uh, the, you know, for many Chinese, as their living standards go up, uh, they're looking to go out of the country to look around. And I think many people around the world uh, get to see Chinese tourists uh, in their local uh, cities and so on. And that's what Tunio caters to. Tunio is catering to these Chinese tourists uh, who would like to go overseas and uh, take tours. And I think uh, because of the language issues and visa issues, uh, this is actually the most convenient way uh, for them to travel overseas is to travel in tours. Yeah. Hearst, uh, you know, the Alibaba IPO, I was, I was looking at it, obviously a sort of convoluted corporate structure there. Uh, American investors looking at Chinese firms, what should they be aware of? What should they be looking for? I think generally, uh, if you're talking about people buying Chinese stocks, they're not necessarily the average Joe on the street in America, uh, in mainstream America, because they would have difficulty understanding uh, the stocks out of China. I think most of the people who are investing in uh, technology stock in general, and as well as uh, technology stock coming out of China, are professionals. And they actually understand all the intricate details associated with each and every uh, uh, offerings uh, quite well. So, you know, I, I don't think there is really anything that they should uh, watch for. It's something that they probably are quite familiar with uh, in their uh, previous investing histories anyway. All right, Hearst Lynn, DCM, thank you for coming on today. Good luck with it. Thank you very much.